Hungary is, uh, will buy the tank um, and pay for the development for it, or parts of it at least. Uh, and we are also aiming with it uh, for other markets, obviously, that's why we are here today. First of all, the most important thing is the 130mm main gun, which is the successor to the world-famous 120mm smoothbore gun that Rheinmetall has produced and that a lot of other countries are producing in license. So we think this will be the next main gun for the main battle tank fleets of the West. Um, and that's uh, mainly why we uh, did build the Panther around the gun. You can also opt for a 120mm version. It depends on the customer, exactly. But the tank is built around the 120mm. 30 millimeter gun. An active armor system you can see here, uh, demonstrated on the tank, successor of Strike Shield that is also on the Hungarian Lynx vehicle. It's able to dis, uh, defeat KE penetrators. Uh, that's why we can make the tank lighter. I mean, in, in truth, it was already in development before the war started, but nevertheless, I think the Ukraine war showed that uh, the main battle tank is still king of the battlefield, but you need to protect it. Yeah? So you need uh, air defense systems, especially like our Sky Ranger system, gun based air defense systems that move organically. Uh, with the tanks, like in the past in the Cold War did the Gepard, for example, which is very successful now in Ukraine war. But you still need tanks, man battle tanks and IFVs to push through and take ground, uh, especially get against the duck in enemy like the Russians are at the moment.